So here we are at uh, Goose Island State Park. It has already gotten kind of warm and ooh, muggy. I don't know where all the humidity comes from here at the coast. Probably the water or something. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we got into our camp spite last night and uh, it was dark, so backing it in in the dark, that was always not a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, nobody died, but uh, came pretty close. So let's uh, take a look around the park here real quick. We probably won't do as much of a driving around like we did at the last one. I think I could pretty much show what the park is going to look like all the way through it in about 30 seconds. I mean, it's probably not the most picturesque of all the parks, but it's uh, it's cool in its own way. And we're uh, really close to the coast. We're going to head down to Mustang Island today and check that out, see how it's work looking. We heard that the damage there was pretty extensive, and that's one of our favorite parks to come to down on the coast. So. I guess the bathroom was completely gone and the sand dunes moved about 30 yards inward and pretty much wiped out the entire campground there. So we're going to go down and take a look at it today and of course uh, do the day use area and drive on to the beach and kind of hang out there and just chill and listen to the gulf and relax today. So here we go. Let's take a look around. I'll just flip the camera around. So that's a quick look of it, uh, where we're staying, just real close into the area. There is another section of Goose Island that's right down on the bay that I guess is the Goose Island part of Goose Island State Park, but that is uh, closed down from all the hurricane damage they had last year. So we're disappointed. It would have been kind of cool to stay out there. There's not a whole lot of wind where we're at. You know, you can see from in the video that it's just, you know, there's a little bit of breeze going on, but you get out there on the, uh, on the Goose Island part and it is, quite a bit of quite a bit of wind going on out there but like I said they got to close that's a, a bummer we drove down to look at it last night but really couldn't see anything it is pretty much pitch black out here at nighttime so really quiet too which is you know there's a apartment complex right next to the state park where this is at but neat little place a uh, great place to launch off from we're gonna be hitting the ferry and probably going over to Port A checking that area out we thought about doing the beaches there but you can't really drive right down onto the beach like you can at Mustang and we wanted to check it out so we will be back.